Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the brand new Twinmotion 2020.2, explore some of the very cool features that are now available here and see if these things work. Of course, there's a couple of updates and also interesting new things that are now here and some of them are, you know, things that the people within the community has been asking the guys from Epic Games to put or, you know, to get right here in twin motion and it's very interesting to see that some of these things are here so without further ado we're going to jump directly into twin motion and take a look at some of the brand new features that are now available right here so if we simply go over to the library section and you know lock this up you would notice that everything simply looks the same there is literally nothing new for the interface but then when you start taking a look at the objects and also some of the settings you would now start seeing some pretty cool stuff if we go over to objects you would notice that we have a brand new door folder so officially we now have doors in twin motion and if you open the doors folder you would notice we have rotating doors and sliding doors so if we open the rotating doors right now click any of these drag and drop right here you would also notice that you know before we start talking about this you'll notice that we have two types of doors we have the simple rotating and we have double rotating doors so with the door right here if we press f to zoom right in you will notice that the door has a blue ring like thingy around it now these are called triggers triggers are actually you know elements that causes certain events to occur in games and it's very interesting to see that we have that right here in twin motion so at this point you can choose to play with the trigger you can choose to animate the door simply make it open so for those who would like to get the, the door you know you would like to have a character walk through a door you would like to have a door that opens and closes. you need something animated yep right now you can easily do all of this you can still choose to use the trigger and within this trigger you can increase or reduce the radius of the trigger so if for example we move our camera very close and we get into the trigger you will notice that the door automatically opens and if we go away from it the door automatically closed so there is a whole lot of use case for this one you can do this so in case you know you have some animated characters walking across that by default the door just simply opens and once they just walk away from this particular trigger the door closes this happens for both the single door or the simple door and it also happens right here with the double door so if we also choose to go right in here and get directly there you notice it opens up and if we go all the way out it closes there's also a very new style section so you can play with the styles that we have right here you can change this to any of the styles that you want just customize it to suit your architectural needs so with this said if we go all the way up you also notice we have sliding doors so if i also go over to the sliding section and just simply bring one of these drop it right here you notice it also has the triggers so for those looking for sliding doors you know you want to get a door that slides open or you want to get a door that just simply opens up once your character is close to the door now you have all of those things and you can simply proceed to play with them of course we're going to cover another extensive video about how you can customize and make your own triggers but for the meantime the both triggers that we have right here are translation triggers which actually does this to move your objects from one point to another and rotating triggers which is actually responsible for this right here so with the triggers out of the way something else that is also a very cool feature that is now available in twin motion is the shading so there is a heavy rework for shading and for us to actually experiment with that if we go over to cars select one of these cars and let's just bring the sedan car right here you would see that the shading for the cars has been reworked actually let's get a different color so we can go with a color like this okay so you can tell that the shading for this has actually been reworked so there is a side by side comparison with twin motion 2020.1 and also twin motion 2020.2 and of course you can see the disparities amongst these two you can tell by default that the shading in 2020.2 looks way more better instead of having too much specularity like we have in twin motion 2020.1 we have a much more subtle and more true to life looking car and this on the other hand also affects the shading for the weather so for the sky texture the sky texture also has something really cool that has also been done to this and it just simply makes you know an overall sense like if you go ahead and tweak the sky texture for example and you take a look at what we have in 2020.1 and also 2020.2 you can tell that these 
uh, you know, there are two different stuff. By the way, you can also tell that once you choose to add things like weather, you choose to play with some extra features like that, that you can see how much your, you, you know, you can see how photorealistic this actually looks. So for 2020.2, there's a huge improvement to the sky texture shading. There is also a huge improvement to the response. For example, when we go in and turn on the rain, you can see that in 2020.1, we don't necessarily see the raindrops. And at the same time, there is no huge contribution to the puddle. But in 2020.2, once we proceed to turn on, you know, turn on the rain, by switching the weather you can literally tell we have raindrops you can see it affect the camera and at the same time you can see it affect the puddle contribution on the floor so if you are thinking about using this for some very nice stuff right now the shading looks very very reasonable and very very nice still speaking about the cars if we jump all the way up you would notice right here that we have two new folders previously these were called miscellaneous folder in 2020 point one but in 2020.2 we have some pretty cool folders so if i simply go in here and open this you'll notice we have the construction machines and these are heavy equipment that you can now bring into your scene so for things like this heavy duty trucks you can change the colors for example and at the same time you can now customize the logo so if we open the air, so if we open the aircraft folder you would notice that we have a couple of aircraft and the default one which is the plane 01 flying if we put a side by side comparison with what we have here in twin motion 2020.2 and also what we have in twin motion 2020.1 you can tell that there's a huge difference in 2020.1 we have this uh model looking more like a low poly geometry that just has textures wrapped around it but in 2020.2 it is very glaring that this is actually a model that is designed to make an aircraft you can also tell that the textures are not properly placed and if we jump right back here and proceed to turn the time of day a little bit down let's say about a point like this you would also see that we can turn on the light so if light is something we want you can also turn on the light let's get this all the way down so it has the automatic light system so we can turn on the lights right, right now you can see the lights turning on you can also choose to play with the colors so you can customize this you know play with the color if you would like to maybe make a change to the upper color as well yep you can do all of this customization there is no button for you to change things like logos and stuff and i do believe that you can actually use decals you know and wrap things around the mesh so if you're looking for nice looking planes right now you have a very nice looking aircraft that you can throw into your scene and all of this aircraft has been redesigned and at the same time they've been shaded properly if you scroll down you would notice that there is also some smart aircraft that have now been added to this and for example there is four brand new airplanes with light and also improved shading we also have a brand new helicopter which doesn't exist before so if i simply bring this one all the way out and drop that right there you can of course tell and see the scale and you can also see that we have another one so different kinds all right so i can bring this one right here and all of these as well you can proceed to turn on the light you can proceed to customize this and get some very cool result out of them so for example if we choose to take this all the way up and simply rotate this you can tell that we have this beautiful thing going for us so depending on what you want to do depending on how you want to get things done these are right here for your own personal use so with a brand new scene let's take a look at the well improved water shading you can get the rotary drill right here and let's just get something like this maybe a yacht could do go over to where we have our settings directly in settings we'll go over to weather effects ocean and then we are going to turn this on you can tell that the water system is way way improved of course if you choose to change it you know do all of these things contrary to what we used to have where it looks like there is already a map that just simply drives this right here you can see some of the forms you know you can tell you can see what water looks like and another thing is if we simply go back so let's say we go all the way back to where we have our settings weather effect and the ocean 
and we choose to change any of this, it simply adapts to it. The same kind of improvement that we have for the ocean shading is the exact same improvement that we have for the water shading. The water shading this time actually comes with some brand new parameters that we are also going to take a look at. If I select this material now, you can notice that we have some new changes right there are new changes to the settings and you can go in and play with the depth of the water if you want you can play with the wave this is something that is new so you can play with the wave if you want you can click on the more if you want to change the flow of course you can change it if you want to play with the direction if you want to play with the wave size and if you want to also have the wind gust you can also throw that in so this is some very nice improvements that we have right here if you also like to play with the color there is also a very wonderful color map so if you're trying to simulate some sort of liquid which is not water but you know or you want to colorize the water you can actually use this one and get going with it another beautiful update that we have between motion 2020.2 is the addition of 15 new east asian tree species so right now if you go over to vegetation and landscape go over to trees you would see that there are some brand new east asian you know trees that you can now throw into your scene now the beautiful thing with these is they still retain the age growth season height and also wind properties so just in case you want to tweak this thing for your scene you want to get something you know beautiful out of it yes you can so this is here for your use and of course if you want to know how to work with these trees for twin motion 2020 2020.1 2020 and also 2020.2 simply refer to the video that is going to be in the description so with this said we are going to talk about one of the last things that has to do with this update and that is the phasing tool so one new cool feature that is also available right here is the phasing of course phasing has existed in twin motion for a long time but now they have actually improved how you can work with it so the phasing tool now gives you way more opportunities to add direct your scene add direct your construction and also the progress of your work however you want so the phasing has also been replaced with the word scene state so if you simply go right here you notice there's nothing called phasing anymore it's now called scene state so what we've done is we've created several states the very first state where we have only you know the table another state where we have just two chairs four chairs and then we have the flower on top so how do you work with the phasing if you want to work with phasing right now if you go over to the media section click on the phasing you can now create a brand new phasing and have an entire timeline that you can work with this timeline is highly customizable as you can customize these for days weeks months and years so what we like to do is we like to have this phasing feature happen from here all the way to you know a certain date so since we have just four different states i'm going to start with the very first one and let's click on the state that we have right here and then let's simply delete what we have here so we're going to start all the way from the beginning delete what we have here select the first state click on create phase so you see we have just this let's go over to another date which is date 13 since we started with date 12 and then i will click on state one we have that there click right here you create another one so what we're going to do is just simply run through this the same process is what we're doing then we're going to create for state one state two and also state three there's also going to be a much more extensive explainer video about this so just in case you want to know how you can render your phase how you can set up your scene states and so on simply keep an eye on the notification for that particular video so at this moment you have an entire timeline that you can scroll through and preview what you have contrary to you know clicking 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 you can now easily use this to add direct whatever you want to do so these improvements are very very interesting and it's very cool to see that twin motion 2020 is leaning towards a much more interactive and artistic point of working with the tool contrary to previous releases so this is some very nice looking improvements that we have right here and subsequent videos to explain some much more interesting things like you know the phasing for example and also explaining things like the new tool sets that we have within the animators section that has to do with rotators and translators will be coming soon if you want to see much more videos about twin motion links are going to be in the description and of course if you want to get twin motion you can simply go over to the website right now at epicgames.com link is also going to be in the description where you can get it 
So this is definitely going to be about it. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.